What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo. I'm actually very intrigued by what we're going to be watching today. Um, the artist is Dermot Kennedy. I hope I'm saying that right. I really have no idea. And he decided to mash up Lover and Flashing Lights, which if you're not familiar, that is Taylor Swift and Kanye West. So a very interesting, ironic mashup. But I'm excited to check it out because I don't think I've heard anyone cover Lover yet. Obviously we heard the Shawn Mendes remix, but I haven't any, heard anybody cover Lover. And I've never listened to Dermot Kennedy before, so this is gonna be really cool. And it's the Live Lounge, which I'm a huge fan of. Before we get to today's video, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are always in the description for all of those things. And with all that out of the way, I'm excited to see what he does with this. Uh, like I said, I haven't heard anybody do anything with Taylor Swift's Lover yet. I know the song is still somewhat new, so it's gonna be cool to check it out. Uh, I already love this arrangement, though. We can leave the Christmas lights up till January. Okay. This is our place. We make the rules. I like that there's like a very um, deep sound to his voice, but it somehow still feels a little bit soft. Like it feels like. It doesn't feel aggressive. I don't know. I don't know what I mean by that. But when I hear it, like you hear this really deep voice and then it just feels soft, which is perfect because that's what the song needs. And there's a dazzling haze in a serious way about you, dear. Damn. Have I known you 20 seconds or 20 years? Can I go where you go? Okay, well, I take back what I said. I am getting that aggressive, that little bit of harsh. Uh, it very much reminds me of Mumford and Sons. Um, if you've never listened to them, uh, I'd be very surprised. But if you haven't, you should definitely listen to, especially some of their first couple of albums where it's very emotional and it's got those very deep vocals and that little bit of harshness in the chorus. It's, it's absolutely beautiful music. And I feel this is very reminiscent of that, and so for that reason, I'm gonna love this. We always be this close forever and ever, and I take me out, take me home. Damn. You're my, 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 my lover. Friends crash in the living room. This is our place we make calls. After hearing the original version of this so many times, it's very interesting to hear it from more of the male perspective, um, being sung by a dude, because I feel like it's almost like, even though it's the same lyrics, it's almost as if like they're answering each other. I didn't really feel that with the Shawn Mendes remix. While I did think that that was a cool remix to do, it did feel like it was just trying to make the song go a little bit further, where I feel with this, like this would have been a really cool remix for her to have done because it's almost like they're, like they're singing to each other. I don't know, that's what I pick up whenever I hear this. And I'm highly suspicious that everyone who sees Want you. Well, I've loved you three summers now, honey, but I want them all. Can I go where you go? Can we always be this close forever and ever? And I take me out, take me home. Damn, I love that chorus right there. Again. 
Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta share this with you. So if you haven't ever listened to this album by Mumford and Sons, I highly suggest you listen to this because I like watching this performance just makes me feel like I'm getting a piece of that. So uh Psy No More, I'm sure you've heard some of the songs on here. Uh, a lot of them ended up on the uh on the radio, I believe, but I highly suggest you check this album out if you like this because there's something incredible about this. Okay, I just had to have a nerd moment because as I'm listening to this, it's just like it's like Mumford and Sons, Mumford and Sons, Mumford and Sons. So, yeah. So I'm not like, I don't listen to a lot of Kanye West anymore just for some of the decisions that he has made. However, it's, it's hard to argue that a lot of his um, past stuff wasn't incredible and, and it definitely has changed a lot for music, especially in the hip hop realm. And there's definitely something to be said about what he's done. Um, he's definitely made a landmark in his career. And as much as I love the original of this song, to be able to hear somebody take it and do it a little bit different, give it a little bit different of a twist, I think um, really opens up, I don't know, the possibilities of where other Kanye songs could go if more people did remix them. Because then you can kind of see the diversity. Because when Kanye makes music, he uses a lot of a lot of beats, a lot of vocals in the beats. He, everything is, is master crafted together to create this the song at the end. And it'd be really interesting to hear more artists try to take some of those songs. We heard Harry Styles do Ultralight Beam before, and I absolutely love the arrangement on that. I thought it was so cool to hear. Again, not taking away from the original because the original will always be incredible, but to be able to hear people take it and try to change it up a little bit, even in the first just couple seconds of this, I already love the way this sounds. <laughs> Sweetheart, we hardly talk. I've been doing my thing. I know I was foul, baby, a baby. Lately, you've been all on my brain. If somebody would have told me a month ago, front no, no, I wouldn't wanna know. If somebody would have told me a year ago, it'd go get this difficult. Feeling like Katrina with no FEMA, like Martin with no Gina, like a flight with no visa, first class with the seat back. I still see ya. In my past, you on the other side of the glass, my memory's museum. I'm just saying, hey, Mona Lisa, come home. You know you can't roam without Caesar. I love the backup vocals. I never thought that you were taking this far. What do I know? I'm really sad that I've never heard of this dude before because he's shown us uh, multiple sides of his abilities in just two songs. Like imagine if, if I mean, I, he probably did more songs than this, but even in this, this is a great introduction piece to an artist like this. Lover, beautiful ballad, the original and his version of it. And for him to do flashing lights like this and, and add even more soul to it and add even more like, I don't know, depth to it, have the backup vocals and have this whole arrangement going on like that's a lot to take in for listening to an artist for the first time so i think this is the perfect video to introduce that As you recall, you know I love to show off, you never thought that i would take it this far god Okay, I don't know what else there is to say that I didn't say in that video. I'm genuinely impressed by this. I know you guys probably hear me say that a lot 
on this channel, but you gotta remember a lot of these artists that I watch, it's the first time I've ever watched anything from them. There's a lot to say and a lot to take in, and to be able to do it in just one video is very difficult. However, I feel like I got a, a good idea of sort of the spectrum in which his, abil his vocal abilities, his performances, his mixing, all those things kind of come together. Uh, we'll start with Lover. I just absolutely loved his version of this. It, it added, I don't know, a little bit of motion and to hear it from like the dude's perspective, it almost felt like in response. Even though it was the same exact lyrics, it just felt like it was in response and I would love to hear somebody mash these two versions up where like you got Taylor going and then Dermot goes and Taylor and Dermot, man that would be a beautiful moment. I think someone needs to do that. So if you have the ability, do that for me so that I can put it on my phone and listen to it sometimes. Uh, the flashing lights mix. I love the fact that he decided to do Taylor and Kanye in the same thing uh, because it is ironic. It definitely is going to spark people to talk. I was definitely interested when I saw the two names. I was like, huh, that's interesting. Just with all of the drama that has happened between the two of them. Um, but I actually loved his rendition of Flashing Lights. I do love that original. Like I said, I was a Kanye West fan for a very long time and I always uh, enjoyed his, his musical genius when it came to the production. Not always so much the lyrics and, and like his actual rapping abilities and stuff, although those were great too. That wasn't the reason I, that I loved him so much. Like 808s and Heartbreaks is one of the greatest albums that have, that have ever been written if you just look at that production. And so I always appreciated that from him. But being able to hear somebody come and take, that, take a song of his and create this type of version of it, in my opinion, great way to do it, great way to get somebody into your music, especially if, I don't know how big he is, but this did have a lot of views, but I don't know how big he is. So for me, first time listen, you pick two songs that I like, you do them as beautiful as that, and again, very reminiscent of Mumford & Sons, which I appreciate so much. This is not the last time you're gonna be seeing him on my channel, so I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links are always in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace.